Wake up two deadly plane crashes. Boeing today unveiled an overhaul to the software system of its 737 MAX aircraft. It's the most direct attempt to fix an element of the plane's original design that investigators believe led to the recent air disasters. This comes as lawmakers scrutinize the relationship between Boeing and the federal government. Clearly uh, confidence in FAA as the gold standard for aviation safety has been shaken. The FAA facing growing questions over the way the agency certified the safety of Boeing's 737 MAX planes, oftentimes in conjunction with Boeing. Are they too cozy? That's my mm. pointed question right there. This is uh, very unusual for Boeing. Uh, to have this type of problem. News 4 Jacks aviation expert Ed Booth says the public may not understand, but over the entire history of aviation, regulating authorities like the FAA have relied on the manufacturers to certify their own products and report the facts back to the FAA. Some would view that as an inherent conflict of interest, but it is a system that's worked well and has produced a remarkable safety record over the years that has only been tarnished uh, very recently. But there are also questions about why the fleet wasn't grounded sooner in the wake of two crashes that killed more than 300 people. And this is a story you're going to hear about for many years to come. What was known? When was it known? Uh, was this problem, uh, had, it pre had this problem presented itself uh, earlier and it wasn't given enough emphasis? Uh, we, we don't know right now. The FAA says it was waiting on proof. The United States and Canada were the first countries to ground the aircraft with data for cause and purpose. The official causes of the crashes are still being determined, but the focus has been on an automatic safety feature that may have incorrectly forced the nose of each plane to dip. Boeing continues to insist its 737 MAX planes are safe and is set to implement a software fix and enhanced training for pilots. We're working with customers and regulators around the world to restore faith in our industry and also to reaffirm our commitment to safety and to earning the trust of the flying public. We accept 130 to 150 automobile fatalities in Jacksonville every year with barely a whimper. And uh, uh, in, in light of that, against that uh, background, I believe flying remains extremely safe. And I'm confident these problems will be worked out in short order. Well, Boeing plans to submit its final compliance documents for the software update to the FAA by the end of the week. Meanwhile, the audit into FAA certification practices is expected to take at least 10 months.